Hi guys, welcome to to the second part to DC variant. Uh, Planet Sky uh, Green Lantern figure. I'm Planet Sky. The um, so yeah, so I finally took out the packaging and I gotta admit this figure looks good. I was a bit iffy not buying this figure, you know me, I'm a bit pretty picky why pick why buy my figures. As a collector as well, so you know you you know you're wasting money on these figures. But I think I've made a good choice and there's quite a few people on YouTube done some reviews and I saw them. But boy. I just saw this in pieces, but this is my uh point of view how I like these figures. So anyway, I took out the packaging and um it looks amazing. It looks really nice, really cool. You know, when you see it in person, you know when you see those pictures, you know, when they release by Credit Planet Sky or they show it on the Toy Fair and Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con or any other uh, conventions they show and you, you actually see in person but when you actually actually see in person and you have it in your hands like this I physically got it in my hands and wow Planet Sky did an outstanding job in this figure it's just amazing I'm blown away how good it is obviously people are going to complain oh it, it looks a bit weird this and that oh this figure looks Boring. This is the oh, what is his shoulder looks like? The blah blah blah. Relax, okay, people. Relax. There's like dudes. Relax, okay. It's just a figure. Play as guy. Just producing these figures for us. You know, if you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. If you do want to buy it, yeah, go ahead, buy it. Pre-order it. And uh, I'm really pleased. You know, I got this. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Green Lantern. And uh, wow, this figure. Just blows me away. So uh, I'm going to talk about the articulation and the paint ap application and such forth. So in the meantime, um, let's just put this down. Obviously, that's probably the accessory, but I'm going to talk about it down later on. So the paint application is a bit different this time. Um, obviously, um, his whole body, you know, it's not whole and green. Obviously, well, it's obviously he's, he's green. Obviously, this is the Green Lantern corpse. You know, everybody knows. You know, Green Lantern. How also named the name is Howard Jordan, and you know the the details. You know the, the paint application. This is like a glossy look he's got over here. That's really cool. The symbol's really nice. The head sculpt's really cool as well. They made them more younger this time. And uh, well, and he's got like this armory on him as well, including uh, Batman and Wonder Woman. And uh, the detail on it, you know, uh, quite a bit of green, and most of it it's like grey, black, white. So it looks nice. It looks cool. Really happy. But boy, the paint application it just massively huge on this figure and these figures are tall anyway so really nice figures man but boy um what else can i talk about he's got nice detail in it has got so much liner on it he's got black white silver it's even his boots once his boots are green in fact it's got this glassy look on it crystal clear Come on guys, what, else, what more can you ask for? The price you pay for these figures, they're a bit pricey these figures, you know. Them are, I remember um, paying for the figures and I'm like, oh my gosh, seriously? And I'm mean, I mean, charging like so much money for the post packaging, I'm like, damn it. But uh, once you get it, you know, paying the cost of charge, this, the, you get rid of that crap. You can't avoid cost of charge, it sucks, I know. But, uh, boy man. The head scores really nice as well. You can see how Jordan. Obviously it's the Caucasian one. Um the white dude. Um but yeah. Really good. And the shoulder pads on it looks really nice as well. I'll talk about it in a minute. But yeah, the details really nice. He's got a black brown hair and a bit of light brown hair it's really nice it's 
it's really cool I like that that's really cool and uh, yeah that's the, that's it on the on the paint application now let's talk about the articulation on this figure so he's got some articulation over here but you can't take it up and down because it's hindered by the shoulder pads over here and my one's kind of loose over here so I'm gonna be kind of careful with this one you can see it there it's kind of loose but I'm gonna be careful with this one I'm not bored to get a new one costing me 45 pounds for these figures you know Jesus he's got some articulation over here can't do 360 but fully rotates and down hand hand ticulate 360 but his arm does ticulate like I showed before nice ratchet joint sewer points he's got some torso articulation it'll be his arm cry but we have to be careful though head articulates nice joint over here nice ball joint over here up and down left and right really cool Pretty nice on that department. And the leg articulate's got a nice joint. He pretty much goes 90 degree there. That's 90, right? Yeah. So that's really nice on that department. Uh, same thing with the other leg. But I'm not going to show that. You probably know the. And he's, his pants, well, I don't know why you're probably supposed to call it, it does uh, move, almost it's plastic, so that's really nice. Um, leg ticklates more. It's got a nice ratchet joint over there. And, uh, yeah, that's about it on the articulation part. And now we're going to talk about accessories. So first thing for I'm going to talk about this accessory. This is the the main accessory he has with him, and this is like a his power of his of his ring. You know, he shows his true essence of his power, and it's like a crystal green, a bit of yellow, and he just pulls it in like like a badass. It just looks amazing. Look at this. Oh, this plastic. I'm kind of afraid if, if you ever should pose this or not, but I've got to be careful because it's plastic, so you've got to be careful with it. So, and the the, the, the good thing about this, they should done this with go. This piece is stuck with the, the 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 effect of this accessory. So obviously, I removed the the closed fist and replaced it with this one, and it looks amazing. He says Popper stuck to the fist. So why the hell did he do that with Go? <laughs> I don't understand that. So so that's the big um, accessory on that department. And now I'm gonna talk about the other extra hands. This is the open palm hand. I just replaced it but it's got a nice a bit of gold there as well, but obviously my camera's not gonna pick up but it's got a nice open palm hand, you can pose them like that. So you bring it on, you know. And he's got more extra hands. He's got two extra fists, but this is already, you know, set up when you open the figure. Here's one. And here's the second one. Left and right. And he's got another open palm hand. They're really cool. It's just, it's amazing. And another thing, it's got a ring on it. Obviously you can't picked to see that clearly but my camera's not gonna pick up but you get the point though so yeah um that's it guys um thanks for watching my review um uh, much appreciated for you know rate so uh rate sub break comment sub break comment ad and uh yeah thanks for watching i'll be waiting for for one for these figures and these figures are amazing I was kind of iffy not getting these figures at first time I saw them, but now I'm really glad I, I got these figures. And uh, wow, Pyrus guy did a good job. You can get these um, figures still at um, uh, what else can you get? 
from eBay if you're lucky enough but the guy's charging like 58 pounds it's kind of pricey um, it sold out on Amiami you can still buy Wonder Woman if you like or you can peel it from bigbadtoystore.com you have to import from that but I think you should risk that because and they have to pay custom charge just like you know if you buy stuff from Amiami and but if you got any other chances or if you wait till your retail store gets it like um, I heard it's gonna come in November. That's a long way. I know But uh, if you can't wait anymore, I think you should just buy on eBay Or you know buy from Hong Kong or China, so You know you're gonna get your figures But yeah, um And the value of these figures they're going up in prices, so Get these figures now guys. They're gonna go up in value and uh, Yeah, thanks for watching my reviews guys it's been a long day today. I'm really tired. You know, went out today. I didn't have a great day today, but I know what made me happy today. My figures and uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching and more to come. And then I got more figure reviews to do. I got my my band of the arts uh, Venusaur. It's coming in this month. Uh, Sakura and Ken play as Kai. And I got my NECA figures. Uh, Nightmare on Street. Freddy's dead. Twin pack, and and I got a um, Rambo survival version, and I got another. Well, it's not a figure. Um, Monopoly 20th anniversary, so that should be coming out soon. And and I got another band of the arts, uh, Val for Mega Man X. I know the figure's kind of old now, but I thought, what the hell? You may even pull it from Big Bad Toys. So they were doing a good price, and when I realized. You know, my country are doing it, um, they're trying a bit more, I'm like, okay. But now I have to pay a little bit extra, I hope it doesn't get cut, caught in customs, but, uh, but yeah, so hoping to God, um, it's all good. And my Man of Steel figure, Movie Masters, is coming out. No, it's already out, I mean, because you guys got it in May. Um, I finally imported it from Big Bad Toys, so I'm like, fuck this. Because my country over here is shit, I have to wait, like, you know, till next month. It's, I heard it's coming... September the 30th and I'm like forget this I'm, I'm on the figure now and uh, yeah anyway guys thanks for watching peace I'm gonna come